Welcome to lesson 4. In this lesson, we will focus on the different ways of using an insert statement, on more complex select queries, and using the database diagram in more depth. Let's begin by inserting new customers into the customers table. Expand Joe's hardware, then expand tables folder. Right click on the customers table, then script table as, followed by insert 2. Finally, select new query editor window. A new query window will launch with an insert SQL statement for the customers table. Amend the values in the insert statement as shown in the lesson guide. Press execute. If this executes successfully, the results window will read one rows affected. Repeat this step as shown in the lesson guide to add a further three customers. Notice that for some values, we are entering the reserve word null. This is best practice when you do not want to store a value in a column, as opposed to entering an empty string using two single quotes. Once you have entered all the customers, let's execute a select query to see how many customers exist in the database. To do this, open a new query window and type select star from customers and press execute. You will notice in the results window that we do not have a customer with an ID of 2, as this customer was deleted in a previous lesson. Now that we have our customers, let's add some orders. Right click on the orders table then script table as, followed by insert 2. Finally, select new query editor window. A new query window will launch with an insert SQL statement for the orders table. Amend the values in the insert statement as shown in the lesson guide. Press execute. If this executes successfully, 
the results window will read one rows affected. Notice that for this SQL to execute successfully, we need to specify customer ID that exists in the customers table, in this case one, and the product ID that exists in the products table, in this case two.